so for today's recipe, you're going to need a hand mixer or a KitchenAid mixer like I have, a bundt cake pan. Uh, I'm using cake flour. You can use regular flour. Uh, salt, 7-Up, heavy whipping cream, Crisco butter flavor, one stick of salted butter, two sticks of unsalted butter, both room temperature, five eggs room temperature, lemon extract, vanilla extract, powdered sugar, regular sugar. Um, and then I'm going to try this Baker's Joy. I haven't used this before to coat my pan before I put in the ingredients. Um, preheat your oven at 350. Let's get cooking. So I'm going to sift through this flour, this baking flour. I already did one and we need three cups. Two sticks of unsalted butter. It's gonna be a half a cup of the butter shortening. So here we're going to be adding another three cups of sugar into that butter and shortening mix. So this is the texture that you want your mixture of butter, sugar, and shortening to be. one at a time. this little thing on Amazon to prevent the 
flour from coming out. So this is my first time using it, so we're gonna see how it works. We're gonna really just add in our flour. So we're going to add the one fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. Now we're going to add the one cup of 7-Up. This is how it's going to supposed to look. Make sure you scrape the sides, get everything mixed up, fold it over a little bit before we put it in our pan. But this is the texture that you want. All right, so we're going to spray the inside of our pan. All right, so now we're gonna spoon in our cake batter into our bundt cake pan. So you wanna make the batter as even as possible in your pan, um, but you're gonna see me use a spoon to smooth it out. I also like to tap the bottom of my pan onto the counter. After you cleaned up your pan, tapped it at the bottom, let it sit on your counter for a few minutes just to make sure everything is settled. You're going to place it in the oven for an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. Definitely check it at the one hour mark. Mine did not last the full uh, hour and 15 minutes. So um, check on it within an hour. So I didn't get a chance to show you guys my cake when it came out the oven because I'm busy making a separate video but nonetheless make sure you let your cake sit for 15 to 20 minutes before taking it out the pan another tip to know if you should take your cake out of the pan is if you can grab it with your bare hands and it's cool enough for you to pick up and this cake came out smooth and perfect and this is what you want when you turn yours over all right, um, that one stick of salted butter, we're gonna put this in the microwave and let it melt, melt down. You can do it on the stove if you prefer. So this is the one stick of butter, melt it. We're gonna do, we're gonna start off, oops. <laughs> we're gonna start off by using a one cup of the powdered sugar and see where we go if we need to add any additional
up of the 7-Up. I want it a little bit thicker, so I'm gonna add in some more of the powdered sugar. So I'm gonna do a whole cup, but we're gonna just kinda test it out to see. Well, let's start with a half a cup. So a cup and a half, one stick of butter, and one fourth cup of the seven up. That's how we want it. Right. And voila, here is your seven up pound cake. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Till next time.